Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Please share this live on tonight. We are in for a street on tonight, so please share this live. Here we have some YouTube viewers coming on. Good evening, YouTube. Good evening. Hope everyone is having a good evening on tonight. You were in for a free. You don't want to miss this tonight. So please share. Please share. We have some Facebook viewers coming on. Welcome to our Facebook viewers. Welcome. We're going to be bringing our guests on very shortly. And right now you are listening to Nikki Holloway, A New Generation. That's what you're listening to on tonight. And that too will be our special guest on tonight. So make sure you share. Don't want to miss it. Some more YouTube viewers coming on. Welcome, everyone. Welcome. Welcome, everyone. Be bringing on our guests very shortly. Yeah, see, we have more YouTube viewers coming on. Just welcoming everyone again. As you come on, please share. Hello, Angela Trayman. How are you on tonight? How are you? Glad you have joined the live one tonight. We're getting some YouTube viewers coming in tonight. I see you. I see you. Welcome, welcome. Please share your YouTube link with anyone, with everyone. Just waiting for our special guest to arrive. She was there. Let's see where she is. Ooh. Hope everybody's having a good night on tonight. I had a very blessed day today. Every day is a blessed day. Hello, hello, welcome, welcome. Okay, we have our special guest back. Welcome, please share this live, click share. So I just want to we're going to be bringing our guests on very shortly, but I want to welcome everyone to empower her on tonight. My name is Shirley Herring, and I bring you greetings from There Is Hope Outreach Ministries. I want to thank you all for joining us tonight. This platform, Empower Her, is for women to come on, share their testimony. If they just want to share a word from the Lord, this is where the platform is for, Empower Her. And we have such a special guest on tonight. I met this young lady 
in Dover, Delaware about two years ago. And the way she sings and how she puts her heart into it, I said, there is something behind the way she sings. And I've been keeping in touch with her throughout. And we had a chance on having her come to Freehold to minister. And I am so pleased tonight to bring on this special guest, none other than Nikki Holloway. Uh, she is from Jamaica, Queens, New York, and she is also the lead singer of New Generation. I am so honored to have her on tonight. Nikki, I think she's on mute right now. On mute. I'm so, I'm so happy to have Nikki. I am so happy to have you on tonight. I am so happy that you have come to empower her. And I know that anyone is, that is listening is going to be empowered on tonight. I know you have a testimony that is going to bless us on tonight. And I just welcome you to empower her. I welcome you. Thank you so much. It's yes. So just give us a little bit about Nikki, and then I'm going to tell them why I wanted you to come to this platform tonight. A little bit about, well, <laughs> I am the oldest daughter of Howard Beeman and Patricia Beeman, who are singers from both sides of the family. My dad is a player and a, a singer. Mom is a so I've been singing since I was eight years old. I started singing in school and I did a couple of school plays and that set me on a rocket. <laughs> yes. and, you know, we were always in church. So I was in choirs and got so many different um places. So many different churches. We were singing almost every weekend. Yeah. So grateful to God, my back. Yes. Were my music teachers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I didn't have um, a, a musical background. It was what God gave us. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. What God gave us, mm -hmm. um, and I got to go a lot of different places. Um, once I got into high school, my first high school play was uh, Little Shop Horrors. Oh, wow. <laughs> From there, I was doing like um, the off Broadway plays, different stuff mm -hmm. I did with two different tour groups. The group mm -hmm. is the Harlem Gospel Choir. Oh, wow. I. Mm -hmm. The musical director. Um, I did. Um, I want to sing. A couple of other gospel plays. Mm -hmm. Passports. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of things that I'm grateful for. Um, <laughs> and when I got home, you know, I was traveling around the city. Uh, you will see videos. Mm -hmm. Think in stations, yes, like that. But like everything that glitters and gold, yes, <laughs> and, um, yes, yes, and all of that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I tell you, I, I just thank God you're here tonight. You have really been in a lot. Of, wow, now I see. <laughs> wow, I didn't know all that. So yes, your gift definitely made room for you. Because you, I mean, the the way you you're just singing and learning, I just thank God for you. Um, there's something that's going on with your sound, though. It's like it's going in and out a little bit. Um, so just make sure that everything on your phone is closed, like close out any apps you may have, and just leave this one open. Okay, let's see. Yeah. They know we have technical dif difficulties, so we're just ourselves on this platform. <laughs> y'all, everybody bear with us. <laughs> all the apps. Okay, y'all, all apps are closed. Okay. Um, and who do we have on here tonight? Angela Trainman, Evangelist Lydia. That's my aunt. Man. 
uh, Evangelist, okay, Cheryl Good, Shamika Hopkins, Valerie Garrett. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to Empower Her. As you see, we had our wonderful guest, Nikki Holloway, with us on tonight. And I just want to tell you why I wanted Nikki to come to this platform. I was scrolling through YouTube um, after I, I had met her. I wanted them to come to Freehold to sing. And I was scrolling through YouTube and I found this video, a, a bunch of videos, but I'm just going to show you a couple tonight. This snippet. And I just could not believe, I just, I was just so touched by what I was seeing. So I'm going to show you what I found for you. <laughs> and then we're going to find out where did this all start? Where did this all come from? We know she has a heavy singing background, but from where she started, let's look at this. Let me just make sure my music is up. Y'all bear with us, please. Thank you. Y'all know how I am. I'm just real. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> I'm just going to fast forward a little bit. Here's another one. To my little sister. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, Lisa, she's yeah. ever. <laughs>
It's like, <sighs> wait a minute. I'd have lost. I'd have lost my bit. My view now. I'm like this. <laughs> oh, my best friend, God's sister, Tamika McClellan. She was uh, doing train station ministry, but she would get out there and she would sing by herself. So when she came to the group and I found out that's what she was doing, Mm -hmm. because at first, you know, she would disappear (laughs) and then she would come back and we would be in rehearsal and she would be counting all of these $1 bills. Where did you get all of these one dollar bills? <laughs> Girl, those are donations from people. Sometimes they give them, sometimes they don't. But that point, the point was she just had so many one dollar bills that I and she got them from. And she did this every single day. So I said, Well, where are you going that you're getting all of these one dollar bills? She said in the train station. We went down in the train station and I watched her. I watched her do it and it was just in my head like have you any I watched a bunch of people flock to her mm-hmm. just one person so it's in my head can you imagine what they would do if they could hear three part harmony oh yes <laughs> wow. so not only were we having regular rehearsals for a new generation, we started having um, rehearsals for the train station. Wow. And we would just sit around and sing. Me, her, my little sister. My God. As thieves. Everywhere you turned, you saw the three of us. If you didn't see the three of us, you saw the two of us. My God. So we went out there the first time we ever tried it. And it was amazing. It was just the three of us. We had no mics. There were people in the train station that had like the pans um, mm-hmm. that they and there were other people that were singing and they had music and mm-hmm. they hated us. Because <laughs> 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 we had no mics, we had no music and we sound like an entire choir. My God, yes. Woo. Over the trains. <laughs> train station. What when whenever we got there, everything stopped. Oh. Now I want I a lot of people would say, you guys have such a powerful voice. No. Mm-hmm. For that season, it was the anointing of God. Yes. Stopped people in their tracks and made them listen. It was a million and one people that were out there. They were singing R&B music. There was reggae music. Nobody was singing gospel. But little old Tamika. Wow. Well, well. So my grand grandmother used to say, if you see a good fight, mm-hmm. get in it. Wow. And that's what I did. <laughs> I was blown away. I'm still blown away. <laughs> and it turned into a full-time ministry. Yes. Wow. Turned- Full time ministry. We wound up uh, going to Kanika Hall from singing in that train station. Mm-hmm. With so many different people. Mm-hmm. The, the most amazing thing to me was people that could not speak English mm-hmm. that were passing every day in that train station would stop and listen to us sing, miss trains, train, train, mm-hmm. that train. They would just stand there tears streaming down their face and couldn't speak a word of English. My God. That's why nobody can tell me about the power of the Holy Ghost. Yes. Oh, Jesus. Ooh. Yes. It, it was really amazing. There were people, there were people that came and prophesied to us. Mm-hmm. There were people that came in and wanted prayer. Many lives were changed in that train. My that God. Day. Under the ground in a dirty place. My God. Isn't, isn't that where God pulls us from? Yes, yes. That is outreach. That's ministry outside of the book. That is ministry. Wow. We've been out there. Yes. We used to take our food stamps. <laughs> My God. 
take our food stamps. Once it really, really kicked off, we would take a box of sandwiches out there. Mm -hmm. While we were singing. My God. We went a different place every day. 34th Street, 42nd Street, um, Times Square, uh, um, what you, West 4th Street, everywhere you took, 14th Street, every oh. turn we were. My God. My God. So they, the Bible says the gospel of, of Jesus Christ has to be preached to all four corners of the earth. <laughs> <laughs> no greater place <laughs> because everybody and their mother <laughs> is yeah. coming. Train station. Yes. From all walks of life. Mm -hmm. Yes. Better place to reach them. Sometimes we got off the platform and got on the train. Mm -hmm. And sing from car to car to car. My God. My God. That is that that is if that's not outreach, that's that is some serious outreach. <laughs> My God. We were out there. We yeah. went to theater. Um mm -hmm. And we worked with Youthful Praise. Uh, it was a lot of different people. We met Bobby Humphrey. She was our manager for a long time. Mm -hmm. um, it was also Tevin Campbell's manager. Oh, mm -hmm. We met a lot of different people. We got um, a lot of doors were open from singing in that train station. Man, that, that, that's amazing. That is amazing. When I saw the videos, I was just like, AJ blown away. Yep. You know, and then, like I said, when I heard you sing in church, I said, there is something behind all this singing. Like this girl, I'm like, I mean, all of you, the, the whole part, the whole um, new generation, but the way you, I just knew it was something so a lot more. And I'm like, God really has his hand on her. I mean. To whom much is given, much is required. Required, yes. Behind all of that music and, and, all of these wonderful places that we went. I'm not having my own struggles in my life. Yeah. I struggled with alcohol and crack cocaine for a long time. Mm -hmm. And I'm grateful that I don't have the testimony that a lot of others have. Yes. There were people that went through this for 20 and 40 and 50 years. Mm -hmm. God didn't allow me to do that. Mm -hmm. One one time my aunt my aunt out there, she said to me, You know, I don't understand you. You were always different. And the stuff that you got into, you got into willingly. And mm -hmm. so you knew better. And because you knew better, God whooped you. And he did just that. I was going all of these places and I was overseas and I met a lot of different people and I was introduced to drugs. And I came home with it. I never told my parents. I came home with it. Um, and from there, I started to find it where I was. And if anybody knows anything about drug abuse is it doesn't matter where you are. My mother used to say this thing, everywhere you go, there you are. That means the real you shows up. What your desires are, what it is that you plan in your heart, it manifests every place you go. So you can never escape you, yeah. right? Yes. Yeah. Be true. So I came here, I came back home and I had all of this money <laughs> and I started partying. My grandmother wasn't happy about it. She kept saying, you can party and serve God too. So all of my positions that I had in the church, you know, I was a choir director and a Sunday school teacher. She sat me right down. Know about that. <laughs> I probably yes. right down until yes. I got together. Yes. And so... In the spirit of rebellion, I go running off to the street. And then hanging in the street, I found myself becoming what I would call a functional 
attic, which means that I could go places and wait until I finished doing whatever it was that I was doing and then go and get high. It was, it was the most shameful, demeaning part of my entire life. And I hid it for a long time. I stayed away from my family. I left home and I survived in the street. I became homeless by choice. From shame. I stuck in the train station and would be out there praying for people and would bring people to Christ, help people come to Christ and would minister in song. And then I myself was lost. I knew who God was. I knew what he would do. Yes. Yes. I couldn't find it in myself to believe it for me. I believed it for everybody else. I had to learn to believe it for me. So God took me through a long series with this getting high business because it was never me. So I would pick it up, put it down, pick it up, put it down. When he decided that he got tired of me crying out, because you know, the one thing that I'm grateful for is that the spirit of God never left me. Yes, yes, Lord. Addiction, and I was yet in my sin. Thank you, Jesus. It always spoke to me, even when I was high, it was talking to me. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Put it down, baby. Yes. This ain't you. You can come home whenever you want to. The spirit was talking to me. I had a family. Jesus. And it seemed like, you know, I watched how other families did there. People, when they're on drugs, they'll push you away. They're ashamed of you. They'll turn their back on you. My family never turned their back on me. Jesus. Always prayed for me. Always opened their door for me. I'm grateful for that. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. This one particular day, I came off one of those binges. And I went home. And I slept for about a good two days. When I got up, I was ready to go again. Had some money. And I was on my way to the crack house. Left my mama's house. And all the way there, God was talking to me. And he kept saying, that's enough. But my flesh was still headed towards the crack house. Although God kept mm -hmm. saying, that's enough. Yeah. Never, I'm now, unless I was in that train station or we were at an outside service or there was some reason for the spirit to fall on me in the middle of the street, that never happened to me. But I was walking down this street and the spirit fell on me. She said, mm. On the way to the crack house. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's how it happened. I up upside the fence just crying. Jesus. Just Still, rebellion. I went to the crack house. Spent the money that I had. Went and got me a hotel room. I told you, I hit all the time. I didn't want nobody to see. And sometimes shame and not wanting to be accountable for what you know is wrong will cause you to isolate. And that right there, I want to tell somebody, that right there is where the devil wants you. By wrong, where he can kill you. Yes. Mm. 
The moment you get by yourself and there's nobody praying for you or there's nobody that sees what you're going through so they can pray for you, it's when he's got you. And I went and I was in that room and I just couldn't stay there for some reason. For some reason, I kept going in and out of this hotel. The spirit was still talking to me. And it was about two, three o'clock in the morning. And I left the hotel and I packed up everything that I had. And I was going back to my mother's house. And I said to myself, I've had enough. Yes. And God said, no, you haven't. I said, yes, I have. He said, then why is it still in your bag? Remember, I told you I packed it all up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you had it, but you yeah. still traveling with it. Yes. You still have reservations. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He said, over a wall. There was a block at the end of my mother's house. It was a car dealership and it had a long, tall wall. And that, when I say that wall was tall, that wall was tall. And I was, I had to go through that block and pass that wall. And on the other side of that wall was traffic, nothing but traffic. He said, toss it as far as you can throw it. And as far as you can throw it is just how far I'll separate it from you. From that day to, I've never used crack cocaine. Okay. Thank Jesus, thank you, Jesus. Oof. I got back to my mom's house. I got in that room and I cried all night. Yes, Lord. I cried until I cried myself to sleep. When I got up, my mother was fixing breath. It seemed almost as if it was a whole new breath, like it was the first time I had seen a new day in a long time. I found Nikki again. I found peace again. Thank you, Jesus. I got back to church. And once I had been there for a couple of weeks, I was reinstated again. Hallelujah. <laughs> that me back in place when I take serious what he had given me. So I, 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 I urge singers, those of you that have been called to sing, you are carrying the word of God. Y'all excuse me. You are carrying the word of God. Yes, Lord. Think that you don't have any consequences. Yes. The way you live and what you do, keep living. Mm. God just any other entity you know what I don't get if we go to a golf club or any other club we'll follow the rules mm -hmm. that's like they tell us to dress we yeah. show we pay our dues mm -hmm. church we do everything but we want mm -hmm. as if God has no standards. Yes, yes, yes. The devil is alive. Yes, yes. Um, he taught me, mm -hmm. taught me that I was not my own. Yeah. With a price. Mm -hmm. That if I didn't listen, that I was going to be whipped with many stripes, just mm -hmm. like her. Mm -hmm. he taught me. Jesus. Me to pray. Yeah. When I didn't know what else to do. Yes, Lord. When I couldn't make it in my own strength. Yes, Lord. Mm. He taught me how to depend on his. Yes, Lord. Have enough faith mm. in his yes. to send his word back to him and believe that it wouldn't return void until it had done that which it was set out to do. Yes. Yeah, I am. 
Thank you, Jesus. Hmm. Thank you, Jesus. So many years I even lose count. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. I have work emotionally. Some of them, but I'm proud to say that I'm saved. That I know him in a part of my sense. That I know him to be a deliverer. Yes, Lord. That I know him to be a healer. Mm -hmm. Mama, three strokes last year. Jesus. At one time. Mm -hmm. All the activities of her lips. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. I serve. An amazing God. Yes, Lord. Yes. An amazing God. Yes, Lord. Yes. Thank I've you. thought of things. I've been around the world. I've seen a lot of stuff. Been in a lot of places. A lot of places. Mm -hmm. But in all of those places, God taught me. Number one, why should Mm -hmm. Number two, what was going on there? Yes. Wasn't in his will and how it would affect me. Mm. And number three, it gave me the courage not to go back. Yes, hallelujah. Mm -hmm. That's, the, that's the greatest takeaway of all. Yes. Thank that you. gives you the courage never to go back oh. thank you lord thank you lord i'm gonna stop talking for a second because thank you jesus <laughs> thank you lord what a powerful powerful testimony it's powerful to god never left you and even dealing with you when you were doing what you were doing he was still dealing with you he still had his hand on you mm. He loves it just that much. Just that confident. That no matter where you are. Yes. Any times you've messed up. Yes. Still. That wasn't going to tell us. Yes. I feel the need to. Yes. Because somebody's dealing with loss. Yes. Loss can kill you. Yes. Can kill you. Yes, Lord. 13. I lost. Mm. First, I I felt as if somebody had taken my heart and stabbed in a million and one times and would not stop. They just would not stop. That pain was unlike anything I had ever felt. And even to this day, when you lose a child, you never get over it. You learn to live with it, but you never get over it. When this child comes to your heart and your mind and you can't get them off, you, dreams, you go through emotions, you grieve what you've lost over and over and over again. Even though you find ways to cope with it through prayer, the church. But see, what happens is when the church is not there and you can't get nobody on the phone. Yes, Lord. Mm. Yes. And it's the middle of the night. Mm -hmm. You should be walking through the, looking at your children like every parent does and you realize something is missing for a woman and i can't even i can't say that because i don't know how a man feels that's lost the child mm -hmm. a woman who's carried that child in her womb mm -hmm. 
There's always something missing. My baby was here 30 days. And in 30 days, he changed my entire life. 30 days, I learned what unconditional love was. Mm -hmm. I didn't learn that until I had my first baby. Mm -hmm. mm. And when I lost him, oh it was in the middle of a snowstorm mm. and he had a growth in his intestines. Mm. And they wanted to put on the operating table and I kept telling them no. And they said, that if they didn't put him on the table, he was gonna pass. So I felt like I was doomed if I did, and I was doomed if I did. Mm -hmm. so I went to God. And I sympathize with the story of David when he got Bathsheba pregnant. Mm -hmm. The God <laughs> pleaded for the baby. Mm -hmm. I didn't ask. He didn't give him what he asked for. Mm. And I'm sweet in that hospital for my baby. Yet, God. And I lost my baby. Then I lost my life. I was angry with God. I turned my back on God. For the first time in my life, I refused to even speak his name. I didn't want to sing. I didn't want to go to church. I went back to using drugs. And God said, no, no. See, I didn't go back to crack cocaine, but I went back to using something else. I was using synthetic weed. Oh. Wow. Right, Jesus. Don't you know that when you mm. decide that you're going to do what you want to do and God has a purpose for your life, yes. there is no tragedy. Mm -hmm. There is no hardship that God won't allow. Strengthen you instead of <laughs> you down. I wound up. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Baby, and some time passed, and I was running amok. I was in a bad place. I didn't want to live, and I didn't care if I. Did. So I, I was, I was in a really bad. Place. Mm -hmm. I said, You're gonna leave. You're going to leave here and you're going to start all over again. Mm. I got in touch with this friend of mine. And she said, well, you come down here. You ain't got to stay there. Mm -hmm. And I left and I went to Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I started my whole life. That it weed in New York. Mm -hmm. I left the pain in New York. Mm -hmm. I took my baby in my heart. Mm -hmm. I took God and the clothes I had on my back. Mm -hmm. And down here, I started working. <laughs> oh, that had lost. And I found myself ministering to these people. And then the very thing that was meant to break me down, was meant to tear me apart, God gave me strength through. That's how I met Miss Angie. She's actually on this slide. <laughs> wow. She had a visual for her son mm -hmm. all the way to Jersey took off from work. Never met this lady before in my life. 
But if I see a good fight, I'm going to get in. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Mm. This point. Hallelujah. Trying to get my kids degree. Mm -hmm. I work, we are working on our second album. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Looking forward to God opening up some new doors for us. Yes. Where he wants us to go. Yes. I am, I'm not like everybody else. Mm -hmm. person and this big thing trying to do what God told me to do. Yes, hallelujah. And that's about it. That's about it. My God. My God. Do you know that through that transportation ministry, if you keep going through some of them tapes, you'll see uh -oh. <laughs> you'll see a stage where I am actually strung out of drugs. Wow. Yet minister. Wow. I've heard people say, you can't minister from a broken place. I disagree. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Saves you from a broken place. Right in your message where he saves you. Yes, yes, yes. Work your way out of it. Yes. 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 Hallelujah. Mm. Oh, I'm just so blessed. I'm just so like... <laughs> I'm a little overwhelmed myself. I am too. And think about uh, Jesus that God has taken me through. Mm -hmm. Thing um, as a disadvantage or um, a crippling experience. Yes. You know, it was amazing to me to see people. Every day, different people that knew nothing, some of them knew nothing about what we were singing about. They were attracted to the sound. And when they got there, the spirit was able to do what it wanted to do. They didn't, they didn't expect to come there and find Jesus. They didn't expect to come there. And they walk away with their eyes filled with tears, thinking about their life. They didn't expect to come there and have prayer. They didn't expect to come there and find somebody saying, Jesus still loves you. He cares and he saves. Yeah. I tell you what I didn't expect. Mm -hmm. I, and didn't know where I was going to sleep after I left there. But every night that I left there, I had enough money for something to eat. I had enough money to sleep anywhere I wanted to in any hotel. Mm -hmm. I never had to lay on my back to do any of it. Mm -hmm. All I ever had to do was open my mouth and proclaim. Yes. Mm. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I am grateful <laughs> the lives that God allowed us to touch out yeah. there. I'm grateful for how I watched God provide for each one of us. You know, my sister was in school during that time that she was coming out there. Some of that money was lunch money. <laughs> Some of that money was school money. Yes. You know, we were this kids. Some of that money was kids. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Wow. Understand. Yes. That every situation that you go through is a learning experience. And if you fail the test, you're doomed to repeat it. You don't, God is not like school. He don't just push you through. It may come a different way, but it's going to be the same test. 
you pass it. Mm -hmm. Then he'll exalt you and you'll see Hallelujah. why you went through all of that. Mm -hmm. How much stronger you are that you came through it. Yes. Mm -hmm. How you can look back and pull somebody else out of it. <laughs> I, if I, yeah. I, I can't begin to tell you mm -hmm. of a miracle. Tell you how knowing him and knowing his word is over half the battle in every fight. Mm -hmm that you are going to go through in this life. Mm -hmm. Knowing the word of God. Yes. That's over half the battle. Yes. You can't even put on the armor until you start to read the word. You don't know how. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You need him. Yes. I don't know who you are, who's watching it. You can get up from where you are. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's going to be hard. Mm -hmm. It's going to be easy. What he promised is that he wouldn't leave you in it. Yes, Lord. What he promised is that if you really wanted to, and it was the desire of your heart, is that he would bring you through it. Mm -hmm. You have but one. Yeah. Oh my God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh my God. Powerful. Powerful. Uh, Lydia is on here. That was one of my music teachers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> who I sound like, that's who I sound like. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh my God. I tell you. You have shared so much on tonight. And I know many were empowered by this, your testimonies, which is never just for you, but it's always for someone else. And you have shared so much tonight from so many angles. God bless you. Thank you. God bless you, Nikki. I love you so much. <laughs> and you... When I when I first saw you, was there something about you? I mean, I, I I always felt a guy had his hand on you, even when we're saying God still has his hand on you. But man, he he really brought you through a lot, and for you to be a testimony today, girl, I love you. God bless you. <laughs> Continue doing the work of God continue doing his work. I just want to read some of these comments that you have a lot of them over here. And we have a lot of viewers on tonight. Not everybody's commenting. Um, <laughs> but, <laughs> oh my God. Oh, wow. Okay. A lot of amens, a lot of awesomeness, a lot of so true, a lot of <laughs> wow. Say that like, okay. Come on, girl. <laughs> <laughs> so many people saying they love you. Oh, oh, what is that? My sister said when she see you, she's gonna give you a hug and free her. <laughs> so much uh, praise. God. Oh, absolutely. Everyone is just really loving how how you shared and what you shared, and know that God is still performing miracles, and He really brought you through, and you were just a blessing to so many today. You were a blessing. People think that you're a singer and you're always on stage and you're in the line. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In and you, you always got stuff laid out. For you. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, I just told you to whom much is given, much is required. Yes. <laughs> the more, the heavier your burden is. Yes. 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 And Thank just the of us as, men, as singers as ambassadors of the gospel. We are the line of defense. Mm -hmm. Yes. Spiritual realm. Yes. We got to learn to get out here. Mm -hmm. Represent Christ. 
Yes, yes. In life, mm-hmm. in my thing, in everything that we do in the public, especially. Mm-hmm. Yes, mm-hmm. my, And that is my prayer that I represent Christ properly. Yes. Yes, yes, because people are are watching. <laughs> they are, they are, and I mean, Christ, He is the head, and He should be the main focus. Yep, that's what we do. And you had mentioned something key about um, I would say that people like suffering silently when they're going through something, and like you said, you know, you should talk to someone, and because you suffer silently, it can kill you. Because it can kill you. It's broadcasted on social media. Mm-hmm. Every, mm-hmm. every storyline is viable. Yes. Mm-hmm. And can have a dollar made off of it. So mm-hmm. nobody has to tell their story. Right. Mm-hmm. Yes. Not to mention that, you know, I kind of blame the church for that. Mm-hmm. Because mm-hmm. you snatched testimony service out of doing so, people. Mm-hmm. Stop being to talk. Yes, Lord. Mm-hmm. Some <laughs> that mm-hmm. You, mm-hmm. You, when they got up in testimony service, yes. but we overcome our, our testimony. Yes, yes, it's so important. Bye. Mm-hmm. Well, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I wanted this, this platform for you to tell your testimony. Because it is taking a lot of a lot of the churches, and I was just sharing with someone last Sunday that I was going through something very heavy last Sunday, and I I felt like I was just going to spaz right out in church. It was just so heavy on me, and I start listening to this mother testify. That thing lifted off of me so quick, and I felt so testimony. You gotta do it. You gotta do it. Yes. Now I'm not saying that you shouldn't. You know, maybe have in the testimony. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Folks might get up there and say some things they shouldn't say. But right. 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 Mm-hmm. Jesus said, it's said grow together, and the day of harvest, I'll do the separate. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yes, testimony service. Testimony is important, not for two, three hours, but you know, just you know. Celebrate. <laughs> the NAACP uh, mm-hmm. had uh, given my family an award. Oh. And father and my grandmother, uh, Re mm-hmm. Beeman, Long Island. My father's okay. Mm-hmm. Original members. Uh huh build a lot of things in the town of Long Island in New York. Okay. Mm-hmm. So they were honored at the NAACP Awards. So my family was there and mm-hmm. was on the internet. It was a great and awesome honor. Wow. Wow. Awesome. That is awesome. Well, you you are awesome. Your family's awesome. Um, I don't know if anyone... Um, but no, they probably did. But people that came to Freehold and the videos I put out, and that the time y'all came to Freehold and how your dad just took that mic and just started ripping it. And I was just like, this family is so talented. I mean, your mom with that banging tenor, you know, and Lisa with her banging soprano, and of course, Shamika. But I'm like, y'all are really a blessed family. And, and they never turn their back on you. And that, that, all that was just so powerful. How your grandmother said, You got to make a decision, which hey, <laughs> they come and get me. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. In play, they God be the glory. They really did. My, they stuck with me. To no matter- God be the glory. To God be the glory. And look at the, the result, you know, just. Mm-hmm. And let me tell you, my father is nothing to play with. This wasn't <laughs> a, a emotional uh, uh, pack. Yeah. yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and you can thank him today, right? <laughs> well, I tell my kids that. Mm-hmm. I tell them that, you know, I'm a strict parent. So, mm-hmm. <laughs> mom, we can't do this and we can't do that. And I tell them, yeah. You know, when I was younger, I wanted to be famous. Uh-huh. 
be on TV. I wanted to be uh, the first Whitney Houston and and Lodge, and I had all of the um, the the avenues. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, the school was trying to help me. I had cousins that was in the music business. I got a cousin that was playing for Prince. I mean, yeah. I had a lot of avenues to get. Them. Yes. <laughs> My grandmother was not having it. <laughs> I love it. Mother, she was not having it. Yes. Thank God. Got, I turned like 13, 14. You know how you first start looking for jobs. And back then, jobs mm -hmm. were paper. Uh -huh. So they had those acting jobs, acting and modeling and all of that kind of stuff. Yep. Yes. <laughs> Went out there, called the people up, got the interview, went back to my grandmother. I Job, I got a job. I'm going down to the modeling agency. Says, "No, you're not." <laughs> okay. At this age, mm -hmm. looking at what has happened to so many that have gotten into the music business, yes, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. he saw that I didn't see. Yeah. I realized what she was trying to save me from. Yes. Mm -hmm. I Money wasn't everything. Yes, yes. Amen. That's right. Thank God for grandma. <laughs> grandma <laughs> prayers. <laughs> Thank God. You could <laughs> was going to church mm -hmm. three times on a Sunday. Did you go to three? <laughs> Tuesday <Wednesday> and Friday. <laughs> yeah. All day. Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> All day. If we don't have Fellowship meeting because you'll be there Saturday too. <laughs> yeah. Same school. Yeah. And on Father's family wasn't no better. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Saturday and Sunday, you was on the road singing. <laughs> mm -hmm. On Monday, mm -hmm. school like this. <laughs> <laughs> but you better have had it together. And you, we were able to do it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. able to do it we loved what we did yes wanted to be out there and so if we didn't get home until monday mm -hmm. and go to school monday morning we went yeah. <laughs> <laughs> love it yeah by our lowest to have us all packed up yeah. either a van or a car mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> If it wasn't her, it was my grandmother. We was all. Uh huh. <laughs> Let me say, we were we are blessed. Thank God for eighty nine Hill Street, Brooklyn. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Eighty nine Hill Street. <laughs> oh, was that Tawana said? Tawana said, "No, Poppy, don't play." <laughs> That's something to play with. Yeah. <laughs> At 40, right. I watch my mouth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have to. <laughs> you have to. It don't matter because he's like, right in it. <laughs> it really don't matter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When the kid yeah. is, he get after the boys and mm -hmm. they come, pop, pop. Mm -hmm. I said, what are you telling me for? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> You're not about to get both of us in trouble. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yeah, that's the blessing. Thank God for like the strict upbringing. And look, do you see what they were trying to do today? When it comes to today, I thought they were real strict back then, but I thank God for it all. <laughs> People still laughing because mm -hmm. pants on, not if I can't, I can help it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got those pants on, best believe, there, I couldn't help it. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> It was in the skirt nowhere around here that I get. <laughs> oh, God. Wow. They go dress a certain way when we came to church. We yep. wanted to be there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah. And I, at 47, that's the way I am. So, mm -hmm. people days, they're like, well, you ain't got to do all of that. And I'm. <laughs> Yeah, you do. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you do. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yep. Mm-hmm. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Hope you heard me say, thank God for standards and discipline. Yes. Amen. Yes. Gotta have standards. Yes. <laughs> and discipline. <laughs> I thank God though, man. This is this is awesome. This was an awesome time with you. Oh my God, Nikki. I just want to see what time is. I just want to thank you so much for coming on. Okay, good. A little over an hour. You have been such a blessing to us, girl. And I'm telling you, we are so looking forward to having you and new generation in Freehold on Easter Sunday. Yes, that's going to be an awesome. Ooh, yes. Awesome. Yes. <laughs> I take that back. It's going to be an awesome service. Yes. Yes. It's going to be an awesome service. So all you viewers who are watching, if you are in New Jersey, Delaware, Maryland, New I York, just make a trip on down. Philadelphia, make a trip to Freehold Church you got. Yep. Look on our page for the flyer. <laughs> but I, And on the New Generations page. So you yes. definitely where if you're looking at social media. Yes. <laughs> Oh, look, Angela said, don't rub it in, please. She can't be there. I'm sorry, Angela. I'm sorry, dear. Social media. Yeah, I told her. I, re I recorded for her. <laughs> <laughs> but this has been a wonderful time. And I just want to know, well, what would you leave our viewers with? One, one positive or a couple of positive things to leave our viewers with. And also, let's see what this person's saying. Okay. <laughs> My, my feet, my feet. <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> He's still talking about his feet. Yeah, <laughs> I'm trying to take a train. Oh, I hope you can evangelist, Lydia. Yeah. <laughs> Bad room. Where was she from? Oh, she's from Charlotte. Oh, okay. That's the month. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, if uh, hopefully you can come, and if not, you know I will. Re I'll record it so you can see all of the footage. But we hope you can come, Evangelist Lydia Beeman. <laughs> oh, God. You talking about? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That that's that's awesome. Okay. I think yeah they, they're coming in now. Marcus Chris Christian. I don't know who he is, but <laughs> but yes. Um. So we're going to ask you to give us some closing. And, and we also, I'm asking you to do a prayer, a closing prayer for us on tonight. Um, okay, yeah, that's it. Before we do that, I just want to show a little bit more of your videos. Just a little bit more um, for those who I have our late viewers coming on, but they can watch the replay. Make sure you watch the replay, everyone. And make sure you share this live. It was such a powerful testimonies. And we just thank God for Nikki Holloway and what she has shared on tonight. She is truly a blessing from God. And I just thank you so much for coming on. I want to play a little bit more of the videos. And then we're going to come back. Closing remarks and a prayer. How's that? So everybody stay tuned.
Now, you would never believe the little girl in the middle. Can you hear me? Yeah, who is the little girl and who is she? <laughs> well, the little girl in the middle is Tamika's daughter. Oh, really? Yep, Denise McClellan. Wow. <laughs> we taught her to sing the top because her voice was so high. Oh, <laughs> I mean, she could, and she could do it now. You see, she's doing it effortless. Yes. <laughs> but remember what I was telling you about how people from everywhere and they would stand there and miss their train, train after train after train. And those crowds would not leave for, wow. for almost an hour. Wow. We would have to stop the set and stop singing for at least five minutes for everybody to get on the train and a new set of people to come. Oh, my God. That is so oh Nikki, that is this. Oh, my God. That, oh, my God. Most awesome thing I'd ever seen. Yes. And, oh, my God. The boy copying little baby cap. I'm like, this is like this. So oh, my God. These, you know, some of these people wouldn't listen to gospel otherwise. Right. Mm -hmm. Some of them people never heard gospel. But it made them want to listen. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If you've never heard it, it made you want to know who this God was. Yes, yes. And y'all didn't have nary drum, nary no keyboard, and y'all sound so good. Our, <laughs> Hand clapping. Our family taught us you are the music, not the music, not what they're playing. Yeah, you, the music. That's powerful. Wow. It's in here. That's powerful. And when you open your mouth, what's in here comes out. So yeah. why, what's in here? That's powerful. You are the music. Mm. We wow. made music. Remember when we didn't have all of the stuff that we had. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. With a, with a scrub board. Yes. We made the music with the little tamarinds. Mm -hmm. And some of us, we didn't even have a whole drum set. We just had the stick. And yeah. the and was banging on it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Remember, yes. My father, I remember when we didn't have a full staff of musicians. He would be there just framing that little guitar. Mm -hmm. he, wow. and, then, and that drum and that guitar was enough to set the service in motion. Yes. I should in the spirit of God. Mm -hmm. you, Oh my God. Woo. It's so blessed. Wow. Oh my goodness. Woo. Y'all, there you have it. <laughs> there you have it. Oh my God. Oh, oh, hold on. Hold on. Okay, let me play a little bit more. Hold on. <laughs> the comments are flying now. <laughs> a little bit more. Oh, this. Oh, 
<laughs> That's it. When the spirit. <laughs> what a, what an awesome man. thank you, Nikki. Woo. Thank you for the opportunity to testify. <laughs> yes, yes. Woo. Testify. I have been so blessed, and, and the viewers, they're, they're they're commenting a lot, so I know they have been blessed. I hope all of you were blessed. I was certainly blessed. And again, share this live. Everybody that came on and stayed mm -hmm. with us. Yes, we had a good show the whole time, so I, to God be the glory for that. Although many didn't comment, they're watching, so <laughs> to God be the glory for that. Oh, my God. Thank you. Thank you. Close us out. We're going to close out. And... Um, I'll see you on Easter Sunday. For sure. <laughs> yes. <laughs> to you as humble as we know how. Thanking you, oh God, for another opportunity to let the world know that you are Lord. Yes, Lord. For another opportunity to tell the world how much we love you and Thank how good you to us. How many ways you have made in our lives and where you brought us from. God, we thank you for keeping our families. We thank you for a day in which we have never seen and wasn't worthy to see, but God, you are merciful. Thank you. Thank you. Keeping your arms around us, oh God. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And we ask that you would bless us throughout the night, oh God. Mm -hmm. Keep in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you. Thank Father, you, Lord. Minds and our hearts with your words. Speak to us and draw us closer to you. Even as we watch this live, Father, I pray that it not fall on deaf ears, but Father, that this seed would take uh, fall on good ground and yes, take in the name of Jesus. You, Father, Jesus. I pray, God, that we do not choke the word that's in, in this life, Father, but that it would take root in somebody's heart and in their mind and that they would seek you in yes, the Lord. that they would seek you and want to know what it is that they have to do to be saved. Yes, Lord. I pray, God, that our lives become an example of what you wanted, uh, what, what you would have us be, and what yes, they that you tried to display to the world, oh God. Help mm -hmm. us to display that example. Yes. In the name of I pray, Father, yes. let our mouth and the meditation of our hearts be yes. in your sight, oh yes. God, our friend and our redeemer. Yes. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen, amen. We pray that you are all blessed again tonight. Thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in. And we love you again, Nikki. Thank you so much for coming on tonight. And um, I just pray many blessings, continue blessings for you and your family. I just thank you so much. So everyone, I hope you have a good night. As I always say, I love you, but God loves you best. I pray that you have a peaceful night and we'll see you next time. Thank you for coming to Empower Her. God bless you all. And don't forget to share. All right. Good night, everybody. <laughs>